Omari is a very friendly little boy. He's a two and a half year old who is full of energy and want to express himself, but he's unable to do so secondary to his medical condition. He was diagnosed with spinal muscle atrophy type one. This is a progressive disorder associated with generalized hypotonia or weakness of the muscle. When I first found out about Omori's sickness, it was when he was four months old. His head started to lean one side of his body to another way. We did the genetic code test. It came back positive that Omori has SMA. He had feeding issues at the beginning, requiring a gastrostomy too. Then he developed respiratory issues and he's ventilator dependent. He had a tracheostomy when he was about 12 months and he came to Blythdale first to for acute inpatient rehab and then transfer a month later to our long-term care. They told me that Blythdale is one of the best hospitals for me to come and learn how to, you know, to take control over trick care and the care that Omori needs. It's very hard for him to do simple things like hold his head up. Breathing on his own is challenging. His mind is typically developing while his body is not able to cooperate. We hope that assistive technology will capitalize on the cognitive piece and help him to be a relatively independent child. He's working on power chair training with a joystick that is very sensitive to movement so he's able to flex his wrist. He can actually go forward to help him get around his environment independently. He always had this infectious smile though that you knew he wanted to do more and that's really where the assistive technology piece came in because it allowed for him to be able to do these movements. And as time went on, he was able to use a little bit more in his fingers. He's using a switch to engage with leisure activities like toys and different things like that. Even though those gains were small, for his diagnosis, that was a big deal. It allows the child to feel more independent, more happy, and just be able to be a child again. He gets that human connection and he wants to interact. We were trying to teach him that he can use his eyes to communicate. My name is Elmori. We started exploring higher tech eye gaze access with a computer so that he can communicate with a variety of people throughout his day in multiple environments so that he can tell others how he feels. I love singing. Oh, we're gonna sing a song again? Oh, McDonald's at a farm. Ah, let's do. Old MacDonald had a farm. So that he can tell his mom that he loves her. The role assistive technology plays in Amari's life is essentially to unlock his potential to be an active communicator and participant in his life. It makes me feel really, really elated. Omori is a fighter. His strength is what keeps me going. For the care that I received here, I can say thank you because it really works.